What's up, y'all? Uh, I figured I would do a review of the class I went to. Uh, I'm gonna edit all my footage together. Last night, I, I did some techniques from the class. Uh, the class I'm talking about is Matt Easton's HEMA class, Scholar Gladiatoria. A couple weeks ago, I was in London, and while I was there, I made sure to go to the class. And I had a great time. It was tons of fun. Uh, the techniques we did, as I said, will be in the you know next clip once I edit it. Uh, but the class was everybody that was there was uh, real kind, easy to talk to, easy to understand. Every technique they uh, took the time to uh, break apart. You know what what your feet need to do, what your what your arms need to do, the position your arms need to be in in relation to the tip of your blade or the other person's blade. Uh, now, I showed up a little bit late because, you know, trying to get, trying to find where I needed to be while in a city that I've never been to and riding around on the subway is, is not easy. Uh, if any of y'all have you know, been to cities with subways, y'all can relate. Because I'm from Texas. We don't have subways in Texas. We have trucks. And that's how we get everywhere. But anyway, like I was saying, everybody was, you know, real easy to understand. Uh, I showed up about almost 30 minutes late. Matt Easton, on the other hand, missed the whole first half of the class. Uh, mainly because that night there just so happened to be a, a Rolling Stones concert there in London and well I got delayed on a subway I'm, he definitely got delayed driving whenever he finally got there I gotta say I was surprised I was really surprised you know because I watch him on YouTube usually on my phone and everybody on your phone is like that big, real tiny. I did not expect him to be taller than me. I'm six feet tall with shoes on. Without shoes on, five foot 11 and a few inches. And he made me feel short. So he's got to be about six one, six two. You know, he looks he look he looks tall and in well I won't, I won't say tall he looks at on on YouTube he looks average height and skinny he ain't average height he's tall and he ain't skinny the biggest surprise is how wide his shoulders is you know you can't help yourself when you train in martial arts and and things like we do you size people up I mean as soon as they walk in the door you you sizing them up thinking, can I take this dude? No. Put a sword in his hand? No. I cannot take Matt Easton. He's better and more experienced with the blade than I am. We don't even need to talk about unarmed combat, because, you know, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking, put a sword in that man's hand, can I take him? The answer would be no. Especially if he has a saber in his hand. Y'all will see later on in the uh, sparring portions. Look for the gold trim and gold buttons on the on the black coat and that'll be him. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll be able to spot him out real quick. I only saw him using a saber. I didn't see him using a longsword that I remember. Uh... Really, the only uh, the only time I was kind of put off 
was there was a, one of his assistant instructors, a girl, don't know her name, but I was doing uh, the footwork wrong. I was doing Japanese kenjutsu footwork, and it's not so much of a step, it's more of a shift, you know. Uh, they were doing, say, you, you know, front foot, back foot, you just step forward, whereas mine, you're shifting both feet. You're sliding one forward and one back at the same time while you're doing your swing. Uh, she just made the comment that I didn't need to dance. I mean, looking back, it was kind of funny, but at the time, I was like, I'm not dancing. I practice a different style than you, and that's just what I'm used to. I'll do it your way. She was more, you know, she wasn't trying to be insulting. I know she wasn't trying to be insulting. To her, I was dancing. That's what she saw. That's not what I was doing. That's just what she saw. Uh, but that was it. Five seconds out of my mind on to the techniques. Uh, the group, the, the class, everybody that was there was real accommodating, real friendly. You know, I, I can't really say that I left with a bad taste in my mouth or anything like that. I didn't. It was nothing but but accommodating, you know, everybody. And then after the class, whenever I sat down, you know, and started watching the sparring, several people come up and talk to me, find out about where I'm from and why I'm there, what I'm doing, that sort of thing. Uh, towards the end, Matt Easton finally came up once he was done with everybody. Came up and talked to me for a little while. And again, super kind, super accommodating, uh, curious about, you know, the type of things I do and where I'm from, what I was doing in, in London. Uh, couple of them asked me, once they found out I had SCA experience, asked me how HEMA relates to the SCA, and I had to tell them real quick that it doesn't really compare at all. Uh, that's like, uh, that's like putt-putt compared to, uh, the PGA. Putt-putt golf compared to the PGA Tour. That's the SCA compared to what HEMA does now. It's just really why I left the SCA a couple decades ago. Well, that and life, college, parenthood, that type of thing. Mainly because I wasn't getting authentic techniques. I was beating someone with a stick. Which is fine. I've got nothing against it. It's just not what I was looking for. What I was looking for didn't exist at the time for me, and that was HEMA. Uh, but the class was beyond excellent. I'm going to leave that there, and I am going to, uh, you know, edit this with other stuff, so y'all enjoy the video. What's up, y'all? A little earlier, I would have talked about uh, Matt Easton's fencing class. His HEMA class, Scala Gladiatoria. This will be the techniques that we went through during the class. My son here to help me. Uh, the first thing we went over was basically knocking your sword offline and keeping your point online, which is, go ahead and hold your sword out. Basic, simple. Uh, the other thing we worked on, back up just a little bit, uh, was a few things off of just an overhead or a diagonal strike. The first one being uh, the block, go ahead. 
mating at the strong part of the blade. for a second. More. That's it, pretty basic. Uh, that took an hour and a half to, you know, teach the group and go through. But that was the gist of it, uh, was how to get to those techniques. Uh, after this will be some footage of the actual class, so enjoy. What's up, y'all? Uh, I just got done taking Matt Easton's class, the beginner class, because, you know, he don't know me, so he don't know if I can bar or not. It was pretty good. Uh, went through a few techniques, a few binds and winds, a couple of disarms. It was pretty nice. But I'm, of course, getting my post-workout smoke. And, uh... In a minute, we're gonna go in there. <sighs> nice town, man. Nice church, too.
It looks like it. Yeah. I shoot too many guns, I can't oh. hear out of my left ear. Yeah. No, see, I never made it over to Texas, but I did a, with some Missouri, Illinois, and then up to Vermont. So I've done that kind of black little air arc, but... The north end. Yeah. My dad used to go to Texas all the time, and he loved it, so I might have to get out of that way soon. <laughs> so, is it the YouTube videos that brought you here? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. I, I watch them pretty regularly. Yeah. Comment pretty regularly, but he never sees them. <laughs> he probably does, but it's just such a massive stream. Like, trying to reply to them, it's quite crazy. Yeah, I started a martial arts YouTube channel a couple years ago, but I load so irregularly. Yeah, you gotta keep the pace up. I've only got like 200 subscribers now, and I what just made that. Oh man. Was it Aikido and that kind of. Oh, how rare. <laughs> American boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Japanese Jiu Jitsu, Aikido Jiu Jitsu, not the same as Aikido. Mm -hmm. Muay Thai. Yep. Oh man, I left something else. I said Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Oh, Kabuto. Okay, that's one I don't know a lot about. It's a Japanese uh, uh, Okinawan weapon. Oh, okay. Bow and nunchuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, can't just do any item. I used to do the long sword and the sword and the shield with the SCA. Mm -hmm. That was almost 20 years ago. 
the practice has evolved since then. Yeah. Quite a bit. I think it's becoming more martial focused than a sport type thing. Is you could actually use this, that's the thing. Yeah. That's why it's quite important a lot of time to sort of say, that was a hit, but it's flat, it doesn't count, reset it, rather than just like, oh, I hit you, yeah, well, you know, just actually make it martial. That's the thing about the SDA, they use those rotating sticks, so you, they block. Yeah. there is no edge alignment. Yeah. That's what I'm recording for, and we'll put the class on the channel. Yeah. No, they are good. I asked Matt if he wanted to ask a question anything for his YouTube channel, but it didn't look like he was interested. Yeah, you know. The thing is, he gets so bogged down with that kind of stuff. I get <laughs> I got it. Every weapon I can carry now, because really? I'm in Texas. Oh yeah, good point. Legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can walk around the street with a sword. Nice. <laughs> and y'all can. See, I don't know if you get away with that here. <laughs> But the thing most you get here is like shotgun, 2 2 rifle, black powder. That's about it, really. You can still get some good cannons. <laughs> and that's why I can't hear out of my left ears, because I got an AR 15 and a bolt fire stop. Mm, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right handed, so I'm always, you know, looking right, at me. I'm right near it. So the left ears, just about, yeah. No. <laughs> Now that I've never done, I've never done any saber. Saber's good. It's far better for dueling with than a longsword. Because you're able to guard yourself more and then be able to hit somebody rather than it being... I suppose longsword's bad for a weapon. You know, you're meant to be armoured. <laughs> so. What do you say, y'all are? Yeah, he warmed up, yeah. But yeah, you tend to find with longsword, you get hit on your hands all the time. How does it feel getting hit in the body with the Fine. stuff on that? Nothing here that can notice. What are we doing? Long sword? I've done laser long sword. Just do something else. I'm not as popular as Matt, but I'll get there. Oh well, yeah, just keep doing it, isn't it? It's slowly build up. It's really just a hobby, man. It's yeah. something to do when I'm bored. Yeah. Well, really, I started off because I, I trained in mixed martial arts at home, mm. and I put meat and stuff online yeah. so I can look at what I'm doing wrong yeah. and fix it. So it's due to, like, I put Comic-Con videos on there, and I put, like, yep. like, I rant about guns. <laughs> Why are you going to ban guns when I can build one in my garage? I think it's a yeah, good Ooh, that was a mutual. <laughs> that, that looks more like a back sword than a table. It's just the hill, I think. The only, um... You don't really do synthetic sabers. Why not? They, can, they do synthetic sabers. They could do. They could do. They could do. ones that they have done. It tends to be really quite intolerable, isn't it? It's not that crazy, yeah. Oh, I'll get that. Man, I, I wish somebody would come up with what? katanas like that so you could... The problem with the katana is it's quite heavy, but it's quite quick blade in, so it'd be quite tricky, but... Well, no, I'm talking about just put a thinner practice blade in front of Yeah. Ooh, spears. Oh, I know. Well, they are the main battle weapon. <laughs> That's probably going to be my next buy as a boar spear. Yeah, they're really good. Well, with the wings and everything. Yeah. Do you know how many wild boar there are in Texas? Some? Millions. There's a, there's a lot of wild boar. So many you can go hunting with machine guns. Really? Really. I think we got that one. Yeah, some, yeah. So, not many. No, man, there's, there's thousands and thousands of wild hogs in Texas. Yeah, I bet.
long you been working? Can't nobody say you didn't take it easy today. So no, can't nobody say you took it easy today. Drip, drip, drip. Thank <laughs> you. 